Welcome back to another episode of the Call by God podcast channel. Today, we're diving into a story that is as powerful as it is inspiring. It is a recap episode podcast episode that is titled Royal Street Child. We had an incredible conversation with my dear brother, brother George Wright, a man whose life journey is a testament to what God can do to transform one's life from a strict upbringing to a life-threatening situation. George's story is one you won't want to miss. So before you switch over the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this recap, because I was I went back and I listened to this episode. And the episode of, of Royal Street Child is filled with so much gems and so much nuggets. It don't matter how far you are in life, like God can reach you anywhere. So in George's particular situation, George's particular testimony, he shared how he was raised uh, by a military-like type dad. His, his dad had a military, military background and his mom um, had a spiritual background. So he had a very interesting dynamic within his household and, and that kind of like shaped him to the person that he is today. But even despite having a mom and a father in the home, and I always say this, bad communication corrupt good manner. And I'm going to say it again. Bad communication corrupts good manner. You know, at times, you know, when you're around the wrong company, the wrong company could ultimately lead you to do the wrong things. And as, as I was listening and interviewing and talking to my brother, he shared how he witnessed, he witnessed how his older brother got murdered by way of, of gun violence. How his brother perished by way of gun violence. And he said he witnessed this at a, at a very young age. And, and later on, as we continue, as we continue to unfold his story, he talked about how on numerous occasions in one particular time where he almost got robbed and, and there were guns, yeah, there was guns. I mean, he literally seen his life flash right before him and he pleaded with God, you know, even through as he was going about his walk and his life, as many of us do. Sometimes we, we go through a series of events, series of things in our lives, and we don't understand that the reason why we go through these things is big because it's God. God is trying to get our attention so we could get closer to him. But George Wright discussed how there was a one particular scene where he went out with his friends and then one thing led to another. And then there were gunshots that were fired. And then those bullets were like, you know what? I'll just play it. And you can hear like the bullets going foom, 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 whistling by you. And I'm like, okay, I'm expecting one to hit me. I'm expecting one to hit me. I fell down. We fell in this crowd. Everything dispersed. Uh, police came on the scene. And uh, I was like, man, I got to stop this. I when he shared that story, it reminded me of so much of my story when I was caught up in a situation where I was in, at a grocery store and a grocery store is being robbed and the gunman kept, you know, they were shooting at the manager, but who was right beside the manager? I was right beside the manager running for dear life. And at that moment, I went home and I thought about like, man, like, what if I would have got hit by the bullet? Brother Wright had that very self same experience, but it wasn't until a plea for God, because remember, he always had a good spiritual upbringing um, and kudos to his mom kudos to all all the moms especially George's right mother and kudos to all the mothers that that instill godly principles in their children dads too dads do do a, a good job at at stilling most dads not all <laughs> most dads do a, a a good job by instilling godly principles into their children but i want to give kudos to all the mothers that are out there that that does that that instill godly principles uh in the into their uh children but george wright shared how how because of his mother's um belief and her faith and instilling those godly principles in him so as he got older and then when he was going through these life challenges he pleaded with god he begged god he cried out loud to god and god heard his cry and god is so sovereign because god sent him an angel 
uh, and that angel uh, later on became his wife, you know, because his wife is at the time when he met her, God for a woman, a woman that, that went to church faithfully, a woman that was devoted to God. But when he met her, she was a, a God for a woman. And ultimately, uh, you know, he started going to worship with her and the word convicted him. And, and the more and more he kept going to worship with her, uh, the word convicted him and he obeyed the gospel. So although, as he mentioned in his episode, he said, yeah, I was, you know, less than after my wife, you know, but at the same time he was going to, to worship the word of God convicted him and he ultimately gave his life uh, to the Lord. So it's, it's a wonderful story, uh, a story that I can't even um, unpack um, in just a, a, a few minutes. But I would highly encourage you to go back and listen to the full episode. You will be blessed. You will be encouraged. God is using him in such a powerful, inspirational way uh, for, for the kingdom. Um, he uses his platform to bring God the glory, godly household, a household, a godly wife. And he's doing wonderful things for the kingdom of God. So if God can do that in George's life, like if you listen to the full story, the full episode, if God could do this to George's life, God can do it in your life. So my question to you is that why are you running from God? All these situations that you're enduring in today's world, you're going through heartache and pain. Look, I listen, I always tell people I would rather go through things, troubling situations, difficult situations in life with God on my side than without. So just imagine you're going through all the chaos in your life and you're trying to do it on yourself without God. It's not going to it's not going to work out. God has a way of reaching out to us. And even if you're watching this, maybe this message is for you that God has a calling on your life. You have a purpose with God. Why are you running? Why are you resisting? Why are you fighting? Why you why you why you won't just submit and humble yourself to the will of God? Because God has a purpose in your life. He wants to use you. God wants to use you because he wants you to build his kingdom while tearing Satan's kingdom down. So that's it. If you like this, this episode, I want to hear your comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we're just trying to do everything that we can. We're trying to exhaust all of our options to lift up Jesus so many, many people could get into this ark that we call the body of Christ, which is the church of Christ.